name's Keith. A client of mine brought me their Axis Virus Indigo version 2. And everything works, except for the LCD, you know, the screen in the middle of the front panel. It's not lighting up. So let's go investigate. Before I open the synth up to work on the LCD display, I want to power it up just to make sure it boots up and things generally work. And also I want to make sure that I don't break anything while I'm trying to fix the display. So I just have to make sure it works. So it appears to have booted up. Let's see if it makes sound. Okay, it definitely works. Um, except of course the LCD is blank. Uh, now there's generally two things that can go wrong with an LCD. It, the actual display or the driver chip can fail or the backlight can fail and the backlight is just a series of LEDs that are literally behind the display and they shine up through the display so that you can see the uh, LCD elements but there's a trick you can do if you have a flashlight so this is just a simple uh, LED flashlight with the LEDs in a bar kind of in a row and if you shine it into the display it acts kind of like a backlight because the flashlight will shine through the display, reflect off the back, and then come back um, through the top. Now when I put the, the flashlight here, I can barely read the display. So I can see um, letters and words on the display. This sound is called Sync Star. You probably can't see it in the video. It's very dim. But let me press the program uh, value button. So I can change, there we go, I can change the settings. So it appears that the, um, the LCD module itself is working, but the LEDs that comprise the backlight aren't. So that could either be a bad solder joint, the LEDs could be burnt out, maybe it has something to do with the cable uh, going to the uh, display board. So let me open it up and uh, see what I find. So now that everything's opened up, it exposes uh, the main processing board. So this is where um, all the audio processing happens. And you can see the three MIDI jacks and um, the uh, input and output for the audio. And here's the main processing components and the power supplies here on the left. And there's a cable, I disconnected it. I'll flip this up and you'll see that this cable goes to a sub board and that's the LCD, so that's the controller and the actual LCD display. And it's kind of embedded into this other third uh, circuit board, and that's where all of the uh, buttons and LEDs are connected. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the LCD sub board so that I can pull it out, and then I can plug it back into the main board and power things up and see what's happening to the backlight uh, even though the synth is upside down and all taken apart, I'll be able to power up at least the main processing board and the LCD. So I've connected the LCD module to the main board, and I also put a piece of card stock under the main board just so it doesn't short out. And also I have my old, trusty old Radio Shack multimeter um, connected to the uh, LCD board where the power goes to the backlight so that I can see if it's getting any power at all. I love this old Radio Shack multimeter. I've had it for a few decades and I like bringing it out to use it every now and then. So I just turned the unit on and I can see a little bit of action on the LCD. It says Access Virus and now it shows me the, um, the patch name and some other parameters. It's probably a little easier to read the LCD right at the moment because um, when it's in the main uh, unit of the, uh, the the main front panel unit, there's a, a, a filter, a polarizing filter over the top. In any case, the um, the multimeter is showing that um, the, the backlight is getting 5 volts DC, uh, but obviously the backlight's not lit up. At this point, we know the backlight is getting power, but it's not lighting up, but otherwise the display is working. So one repair strategy is to just replace this entire LCD assembly, the whole board. Uh, but that's easier said than done. 
because there are literally dozens and dozens of different boards, uh, different geometries of boards made with these two-line 16-character displays, and they're all a different length, they're all uh, uh, different widths, the pinouts on the header here might be a little different, and the, the mounting holes might be in a slightly different place, the height of the LCD might be different, so there are a lot of uh, geometrical considerations that have to be made, and this must fit back into the front panel. So what I did was on the back there are a series of metal tabs and you can um, twist them that allow you to take out the actual display component to expose the backlight. So and this is really the only thing that we're having a problem with. Now what a backlight is, uh, it's a piece of acrylic plastic with a white diffuser over the top and there's some LEDs embedded here uh, in the end and when the LEDs light up the entire piece of plastic uh, glows and it makes an even backlight. So what I did was I purchased a replacement backlight. So I'll remove the existing broken backlight, put in the replacement backlight, put the LCD panel, the overlay, back in, and then hopefully uh, everything will uh, come back to life. So I've loosely um, connected everything back together. I haven't actually soldered in the backlight. I just have the power connected with these uh, two leads. So let me turn on the main power of the synth. Okay, the backlight's working. And yeah, and the screen looks really super clear and bright. I think we're back in business. Okay, let me uh, solder the backlight in place, and then I'll cover the ends of the backlight that stick out here uh, with some tape so that the light doesn't bleed up and around the bezel. Uh, and then I'll uh, put things back together. So before I completely close off the synth, uh, now is a good time to clean up all this gunk and grime that's accumulated on the top edge of the keyboard, and also uh, clean up all this dust that's inside the synth. Ugh. Now that things are back together, I'll turn the power on, and we'll see what the screen looks like. The LCD lights up now, and everything else is working, so I'll play out the rest of the video noodling around on the synth. Thanks for watching.